changes in USMLE and impact on IMGs, okay? These changes are not new, but it has created a lot of havoc, chaos, and unnecessary confusion amongst uh, IMGs, all right? So, well, uh, you don't have to worry. You just need to understand the concept. USMLE is all about taking the right step, taking the right approach without getting into panic mode. You know, if you are going to panic, it's not going to work at any point of time in your favor all right so let's understand one by one what were the changes which were announced earlier this year the first change and of course i will discuss much in detail was the fact that uh, usmle step one exam becomes pass or a fail from january 1st 2022 okay this is the first change which was announced historic change which has been announced from january 1st 2022 okay second change was the total number of attempt for this exam each and every individual steps of usmle uh, you know just for your information usmle has step one uh, two ck two cs and step three four examinations all right so all of these examination individually there were earlier six attempts now individually they will become four attempts from january 1st 2021 all right then of course the step to cs examinations now the cs examinations have been temporarily suspended due to covid but it is anticipated that early 2021 they might come up with a hybrid new online version all right so again these are anticipations we'll have to wait and watch those who want to know much in detail could you know google revitalize cs and you will get all the latest information about the cs examination all right another change which was announced that earlier those who are in final year and graduate uh, they could appear exams in any order they could first give the cs and then decide about step one but now the new rule says that from uh, next year to appear the CS examinations, you need to first clear the step one examination. All right. Step one will become a prerequisite for the CS examination. So I'm sure all of you are aware of these rules. Now the point is everybody is in a chaos that what does impact, how does it impact IMGs? I want to clarify one very important thing, okay? has the process become easy after these changes has the process become difficult after these changes what do you say because definitely everybody is in a panic mode and i get every two to three days calls from students and anxious parents my answer is the process has neither become easy neither it has become difficult what has changed is the way they are going to diagnose your admissions. The diagnosing methodology has changed. How they are going to look at the individual profile has changed. Earlier, the emphasis was too much only on your marks of step one. Okay, now this has changed. So please understand this. Do not see what happens is USMLE is a long process. If there is not much of our awareness then all people can do is just get into panic mode so prior to the change what were the top 10 factors on the basis of which program directors were giving admission first factor was step one step one marks now what will it become hundred percent of program director now what is program director program director is the hod of the department in which you want admission in america dean does not have a power hod of that department has a power in which you want to do pg so hod decides whom to give admission whom not to give admission for their pg seats okay so uh, you know this sheet is a survey done by this body called as nrmp with all of these hod's then what do you look into the candidates profile when you give them admission so earlier 94% were worried about the step one marks. Now 100% will be worried, but what? Whether you pass the step one in first attempt or not, that will be the thing they'll be worried about. 
LOR in the speciality. How do you get it? By doing the US clinical experience. Now, this is the next important feature. This is important and this was important. And this will remain important. So this factor does not change. Third factor, your college performance, MSPE or the Dean's letter. Yes, this is important and this will be important. Fourth factor, currently 80%, only 80% of program director were worried about what are your step two CK marks. Once the change of step one happens, this will again become 100%. Every program director would want to know what is your step two CK marks, okay? Even currently in the current system, during the admission, a lot of program directors see the jump from step one to CK marks, okay? But now this will almost become 100%. Then personal statement, your life story, your letter of intent. This is also very important in your profile. So this does not change with the step one becoming pass on a field. It was important. It is important. What are your marks required in individual fields in which you want to do PG in? Failed exam attempts. Earlier, only 70% of programs were worried about failed attempts. Now this becomes almost 100%. So again, this is a very, very important factor which you guys need to uh, keep in mind. All right. Then, of course, the class ranking is very important. Commitment to specialization. So if I say I want to specialize in surgery, what kind of surgical skill workshops? What kind of conferences, CMEs have I attended? That's how I will prove a affinity towards a particular field. And finally, nobody can rule out this important feature or the requirement called as personal prior knowledge. Now, this personal prior knowledge is not kind of contact or, you know, uh, Jugard or whatever you call it in Indian context is that, you know, if somebody knows then the admission happens. No, it's not like that. This personal knowledge would mean the right networking. If you are showing and proving your credential to the right people in America, if they like your work, they will definitely refer you. So networking, this becomes more and more important every year. So make sure you guys are serious about this. Connect to the people who have already got admission. Connect to the people who are faculties. Connect to the people who are doing research. The right people and the right network definitely helps you in admission. So this factor is also going to kind of increase in terms of importance after the step one becomes pass and a fail. Now, during interview, things do not change because when you go for interviews, they already know your step one score. That's why they have, in, in, you know, kind of given your interview. So these uh, features are important and were important. What? Your communication skills with faculty in interview, your interpersonal skills, your interaction with the existing uh, PG resident doctors during interview, feedback from residents, your LOR in speciality, professionalism and ethics. So all of these things are important and will be important. All right. So in the end, what I'm trying to tell you, the parameters to take admissions have changed. Nothing else. All right. So let's put an end to this, uh, you know, uh, belief that, uh, you know, should I only consider, uh, uh, you know, considering US family if I get 240 plus, otherwise the story is over. No. All right. So what do we do? You know, because I understand many of you are confused what to do, where to begin. I mean, the questions never end. So I have prepared a few next steps for you. Either you can attend the Moksh, uh, you know, comprehensive USMLE webinar. You can schedule a personalized counseling session one on one. You can attend the Moksh faculties live lectures. You can get access to the Moksh USMLE free trial login from our counselors. And also you can appear for the MOOCs uh, USMLE step one mock test. All right. So all of these options are available. Uh, you can, you know, either email us on this number or WhatsApp us on this WhatsApp number and our team will definitely help you in this journey.